Hey guys, my name is Zipagalic, and welcome back to Day Day 2K23 My Rise. Last time we left off, I got evicted from the Hurt Business. And by evicted, I mean I evicted myself. What do you want, Tavish? Rough night with the uh, rough night with the title loss and attack from Evolution. Then I just saw your post about quitting the Hurt Business. Are you okay? I'm worried about you. Never been better. Onward and upward from here. I get the feeling Tavish refuses to let go, let go of his glory days because... Who puts WCW in their Twitter or Twitter handle in 2023, 24, whenever this is? The, ignore the fact that I said twiddle. Continue the story. We need to talk. This wasn't the plan. I'm sure it's not too late to pet. Ah, forget your plan, Michaels. It's over. I tried to do what you wanted, and it didn't work. We'll talk soon for sure. During General Conta. Sorry. So, since we last caught up, you got into a fight with New Day over a video game cover, lost your Intercontinental Championship, and then quit the Hurt Business. String of bad luck, or all part of the plan? Some bad luck. It was bad luck. I had Priest beat before the ref got in the way, and Evolution cheated to take my title. But honestly, it's for the better. I feel like a weight has been lifted from me. Dead weight, in the form of MVP and Gabe. I never felt comfortable in the Hurt Business, but now that that's all behind me, I can focus on what's next. Well, I certainly believe in you, but what's next? I know I'll become WWE Champion, but something has been off since I debuted, and it's been holding me back way more than the Hurt Business ever did. So what's next? I'm going to confront this issue head on in front of the entire WWE Universe. Are we going after Michaels? Are, are we... We're either going after Michaels or we're about to drop a CM Punk pipe bomb. Which would also, have, in effect, be going after Michaels. Former Intercontinental Champion, The Lock, has requested this time to address the WWE Universe. Now he certainly has a lot to address. Let's be real. I haven't had the best run lately. Most notably, I lost a couple things. My Intercontinental Championship, and then my faction. But this wasn't how things were supposed to go, right? You all heard and saw the endless hype. I was brought in to WWE as the next big thing, a future world champion. And of course, the lock. It worked for a while. But let's be honest, it felt forced from day one. I never was truly comfortable with what I was asked to do. And when it comes down to it, these recent setbacks were just a result of those early decisions that were out of my hands and way above my pay grade. What I'm saying is, I was set up to fail by WWE management. And especially VP of Talent Development, Shawn Michaels. This was a decision. Shoot with you. Shawn was behind all of this from the start, forcing one bad decision after another. So, HBK, I want you to come out here right now so we can talk man to man, face to face. Strong words from the lock. Yeah, you better be careful here. Crap, I'm gonna need to make a brand new attire. These claims. This is a situation that might be better handled off camera, behind closed doors, not in front of the entire WWE universe. He doesn't look too happy to be put on the spot like this. I heard everything you said, and I'm willing to talk. But you know, this isn't the time or the place. This is exactly the time and place. I want everyone to hear how you've mishandled my career since the day I got here. Stop. Now. No. I've played by your rules, but I'm not going to trust the process any longer. From now on, I do what I want to do. That's what got me here in the first place. My voice, my instinct, my talent. 
You and your corporate yes-men have tried to stifle that every chance you got. Okay. This feels... You really want to do this? We've heard your side of things. Here's mine. A.K.A. the truth. All you've done is complain since day one. Thinking you know everything. Like when you chose to drop your special lock entrance after one match. And then you dropped your custom attire right afterwards. You know how much time and money was invested in all of that? I mean, the lock you attire was kind of nice. Any of it a fair shot. But there's no change in your mind because you're too stubborn to listen to people who actually know the ins and the outs of this business. The vault was corny, though. The same people who tried to set you up for success, who wanted nothing but the best for you. Hold on. The best for me? Give me one example of something you did to help me. Come on. Name one thing. Okay. Let's get it all out there. When things weren't going as expected, I went to Randy Orton and MVP and convinced them to start factions to try to get you back on track. That's how much we believed in you. That we were willing to stick our necks out for you. But I guess that's all stifling and setting you up for failure, right? You said they wanted me. Yeah, because I knew feeding your ego would be the only way to get you to agree to do it. But even that didn't work. Because you couldn't learn to cooperate and quit. Throwing away an opportunity that everyone in the back would kill for. So I have one final thing to say to you. Don't you ever confuse potential with success. Because you might have all the potential in the world, but it doesn't mean anything if you can't get out of your own way. Stop complaining and blaming everyone else and do something for once. Are we going to clock him? You want me to do something? Is that what you want? Words being exchanged here. I'm talking to you. Show me some respect. Oh, that was a bump. Awkward fall there and hit the steel steps hard on his way down. I don't think that was intended, but things just took a very bad and unexpected turn. I think he was just trying to get Sean's attention and it backfired. Officials, including Michael's good friend Triple H, have arrived to check on Sean. Probably best for him to just leave and let things cool down. Did Shawn Michaels just say he's fired? Well, back to BCW with us. Wow, I can't believe that just happened. This has gotten way out of hand. We just hope Shawn's okay. Future Endeavor. God, that is an achievement name already. Breaking, Day Day does not condone physical attacks, accidental or not, against its employees. Therefore, the Lock Briars has been released from his contract immediately. Day Day official Shawn Michaels has suffered several injuries, but is expected to make a full recovery. Didn't picture it ending this way or this soon, but the Lock Briars was never cut out for Day Day, especially mentally. I tried to help. Blah, 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 blah. Enhancement talent. Uh, I'll comment on the actions of the Lock Briars at a later date. All I care about now is that my brother Shawn Michaels is going to be okay. I know I've had my share, fair, share of run-ins with day-to-day -day officials over the years, but that was brutal. The Lock should be locked up. He also said, well, we're in the hurt business I've been witnessing for months. The Lock Briars doesn't have the mental strength to see here. Glad he's no longer associated with us. I wake up in Japan and my latest video is not trending, but Shawn Michaels and the Lock Briars are. Checks what happened on day, -day Raw. Oh, clown emoji. Well... This happened. Can we get these notifications away, please? There we go. Well, this is all very awkward. Uh, I'm not going to have the funds that I used to have to... Uh... Make the new attire, but I'm sure I can make it work. Let me do that real quick. 
All right, continue the story. What do we got? Hey, I tried calling you, but you didn't pick up. I'm here to talk. I know you're at a low point right now, but you don't have to go through this alone. Anyway, call me back. I'm concerned. Well, I would hope you're concerned, considering I just got fired. Three months later, Day Day 2K Motion Capture. Shoot. Oddly specific. Am I going to LA Knight this thing? Am I going to have to pop and lock for the R-Truth entrance? <laughs> pop and lock. Cole Quinn! My man, you fell apart. Hey, oi, oh, Quinn, Quinn, this isn't how motion capture shoots go. Arr, my spine. Ow. Hey. Top rope move. Perfect. Perfect. Ow. Quinn, this isn't how mocap shoots go. They're not supposed to be like actual matches. All right, how does one submission? I'm not a submission guy. Hang on, let me just check the controls real quick. Um, ah, right trigger and square. So I, I know my shapes. Okay. There we go. Give us a pin attempt. Can be any kind. Just make sure the match doesn't end. We need to get more footage. All right. Let's capture an opponent taunt. There we go. Now taunt the imaginary crowd. Ah! Back off. There we go. Give me an Irish whip in any direction. Okay. We. All right. Pick up a weapon and use it. Sorry, Cole. <laughs> Sorry, Cole. Let's do the kendo stick. Give me that. Hey, Lock. I know you were a big time WWE superstar, but act like you want to be here. Let me see your best heavy combo. Ah! Oh, my neck. Okay. CM Punk, you are not. How'd your podcast go? Huh? Okay. A light combo. combo okay. Footage. Give me a light one. Well, we're here. Might as well get footage of a grab attack. Okay. Quinn, work with me here, buddy. Let's keep things simpler. Just damage the heck out of Cole. Again, sorry, Cole. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even really process that there was somebody here. Like, talking to us. I figured we were just going at it. Oh, I don't think we we're supposed to get busted open during a mocap segment. Uh, is that a problem? Shut up, phone. I got distracted by my phone going off. It's an email. Ooh, there's Steam sales that I can't pay for right now. To all Please only use three squares of toilet paper. Ah! Sensitive plumbing here. Let's focus on getting some defensive footage. How about a dodge? Dodge these nuts. 
Come on, Quinn, wake up. Put on a little makeup. Shake up. Ow! Come on. There we go. Hit a signature move while you're at it. Bye bye. Give me a finisher. Hurry it up. It's almost lunch. Ah, deadlock. I remember these days. VIP guest? Who's the VIP? Oh, Sammy. What in the world is this? Is that my old buddy, The Lock, doing mocap for WWE 2K? <laughs> it wasn't that long ago when you thought you should be on the cover of the game, and now you're here pretending to be a WWE superstar? Talk about a fall from grace. This is amazing. I'm guessing he won money in the bank. What are you doing here? Maybe you can't afford to watch premium live events anymore, but I just won this money in the bank briefcase. So I requested that my briefcase motions be captured accurately by me and not left to the interpretation of uncoordinated losers like yourself. Well, that's rude. Same uncoordinated loser who beat you repeatedly? Funny. Oh, and look, I even have WWE here to document the whole thing. Remember when you used to have a camera following you around? <laughs> the irony is off the charts. Hey, hope you're doing okay. I always believed in you. That's enough. You're here to film me, not speak to the extras. Okay, you, you can leave now. I need to shoot my part so I can fly to the next show, you know, the life of a busy, successful WWE superstar. All non-essential talent, please clear the ring. Thank you. All right, let's settle into a T-pose. Okay, ready? Position. Action on your briefcase victory scene. Great. Excellent. Now up to the corner, please. I hate it here. I hate it here. Also, why is he so quiet, and where is he actually supposed to be? Oh god, I couldn't resist, apparently. Oh! You think you're better than me? Huh? Answer me! Cut! Cut! That's enough! Where's security? That... Come on! Let's do this! Let's go! I should have sued you before, but now I am definitely going to. Let me go. This was assault, and it's all on camera. Get off of me. You haven't seen the last of me. Man, that mocap session I went have. quite poorly. You're fired again. <laughs> Bye. Getting my ass kicked. I busted Cole Quinn open during the mocap, and now I just assaulted no, Sami Zayn. Let's just do this. Make sure you cut all that out, okay? Gave him lower back issues later in life. Why do I feel like I have to say that every episode? Oh, hey, I'm in the airport. Should we wake him up? Yeah, I'll think he's got enough beauty rest. Oh, what the morning, sunshine! I did not expect you to be British. <sighs> What's going on here? Or Scottish. Since you never return any of my messages or calls, I had to come see you in person. You flew all the way over from the UK? I couldn't British. just sit back and watch you throw your life away. And since you're impossible to reach, I got in touch with this lovely lady. Am I allowed to say that? Eh, I'll allow it. Anyway, she's been following you around for the past six months and knew what was really going on with you more than anyone. And we agreed you weren't in a good place and needed help. This really isn't necessary. I'm fine. Seriously. 
I've just hit a bit of a rough patch. That's all. A rough patch is when you lose your keys, causing you to miss a blind date, and your cat gets sick. Of course, you find out the reason your cat's sick is because they swallowed your keys, but that's a personal experience, so we're getting off track. Point is, you've thrown away everything you worked so hard for. And then yesterday, you got fired from the mocap gig. Yeah, and I had my flight booked way before that. You've been a mess for a while. I didn't throw everything away. It was complicated. <sighs> but if it gets you two to stop, I'll admit, I've had better days. More like better months. So you got knocked down at Pega 5. All that matters now is how you respond. And when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, there's a whole world of wrestling out there for you to build yourself back up. Be everything I know you can be and show WWE whatever. I don't like that I'm on Tavish's crotch right now. I've let things spiral out of control. I'm ready to get back on track. Great. And I'll be right there with you every step of the way. Really? Got nothing better to do. Okay. I'm confused, though. Why are you here, Kat? I told you, I believed in you. And besides, I can't just start a project and leave it half finished, especially when it's going to have an awesome comeback story. And hey, even if you crash and burn, that'll be great too, for me and the dog, not necessarily for you. All right, we're at an airport. Or two first. The Lou. This coffee ran straight through me. Alrighty then. This Tavish guy seems eccentric. Or eccentric. Some of Day-Day's top superstars have left before coming back to reach the pinnacle in sports entertainment, including Drew McIntyre and Bobby Lashley. What will the former Locks post-WWE feature hold? It's kind of ironic that we mentioned Drew McIntyre leaving when he might be leaving again. Ooh, I unlocked the motion capture studio. <laughs> I want to know, does anybody actually, did anybody even use the motion capture studio in, the, uh, in 2K20 when that was an unlockable? I don't know. Somebody tell me. Let me know in the comments. Anybody? On my flight over here, I was thinking about how we met. All right. You couldn't stand me. Said I should quit wrestling and go back to where I came from. Xenophobic. Well, that wasn't very helpful, was it? I was actually thinking of what happened after that. You wrestled on some shows I was promoting. <gasps> oh. You were impressive as hell. You remind well, me of somebody and it's going to bug me forever now that I've noticed. Turned down. The bartender at the pub. You were constantly trying to set me up with her, but she was like 75. No, no, not that. I mean, I always refused to do a British rules match. And by the way, Amelia passed away last year. Gold rest her soul. Those matches are super restrictive. Way too many rules for my style. I like to do my own thing. And how's that working out for you? There's a lesson to be learnt from working within a structure. Okay, Shawn Michaels. Look, I see what you're getting at, but I don't think you can relate to what happened to me in WWE. Really? When I was in WCW, they asked me to wear a stupid robe and wig and be the stereotypical blue. I can't British take anything you say, innocent or in in seriously. Next? You are Triple jigsaw. H. He turned out okay, didn't he? Sometimes you look just like a jigsaw within the system and trust the process right not what i was going to say for sure what i learned is you can wear the wig for a bit and then you can always take it off but at least it gave you the first shot so what you say we head over to the uk and you finally compete in a british rules match prove to me you're ready to wear the wig all right. Okay, fine. I'll give it a shot. At least I won't have to deal with any more awkward situations at the pub. Great. And by the way, Amelia's younger sister's the bartender now. I think you love her. Doesn't look a day over 72. Let's go get our flights before you say anything else that changes my mind.
I am in deep contemplation about the fact that we're hanging out with this guy. I don't know why it's kind of funny, he just leads England. Here comes the money! <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny. My sense of humor is broken. Many of Tavish's wrestling highlights were lost when WCW shut down. Will Tavish's new highlights with the former lock stand the test of time? Depends on what happens with this uh, Endeavor merger. Good lord. Well, your face looks like Jigsaw and I look like Jigsaw trying to hide. How you feeling? Do you knock off that pesky jet lag? Yeah, and I know British rules matches can be grueling, but I'm ready to give one a shot. How grueling are we talking? I hope you're ready to give more than one shot. What do you mean? This is actually a British rules tournament, as in, you'll be competing in multiple British rules matches. How grueling. I agreed to do one, not an entire tournament. I know you wouldn't have come over here if you found out you had to do more than one, but here's the thing. If you don't get your act together, you'll lose in the first round, and you won't have to worry about any subsequent matches, will you? I'm already regretting this. Oi, suck it up! You're gonna be fine. And besides, the crowd is already here, so there's no backing out now. Yikes. What exactly is British rules? Though. Can anybody explain that to me? Uh, well, you know what? I only have three minutes left on the timer, so I'm actually going to leave this episode of Day Day 2K23 My Rise here. If you like what you saw, hit that like button. If you are new here and you want to see more Day Day 2K23 My Rise or just more content from me in general, hit that subscribe button. I don't care for the bell. If you have any tips, tricks, suggestions, anything like that, let me know down in the comments section below. If you want to follow me on any of my other social medias, Instagram, Twitter, you want to follow my Twitch account or join my subreddit, links are all in the description down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Stop complaining and blaming everyone else and do something for once.